Hi, and welcome to Learn With Me. Today I'm going to share with you how to see your child's progress and scores on iReady. So of course, step one is to have your child log on to their iReady account. Then they're going to choose a subject just like they would do to start their lessons. Now usually your child would click on Next Lesson to get their next lesson that has um, been selected for them based on their past lessons and their diagnostic score. But you as a parent are going to want to look here in the My Progress section. This is going to share information with you about how your child is actually doing on their iReady lessons. iReady does a nice job of sharing a lot of information with you. Here on this page, we see our reading lesson stats. This is our stats for the week for our time on task. As you can see, this child has done 43 minutes on task. The goal is for about 40, 45 minutes a week. That seems to be the optimum learning window. Um, this uh, graphic shows you how your child is doing through the school year, how many lessons they have passed, and what their pass rate is. Um, this is how many they've passed versus how many they took. Okay, we'll talk more about what happens if you do not pass a lesson in a few moments. This shows, it's a little brag section, it shows how many lessons your child has passed in a row. So their streak is at 14 lessons in a row. So we're looking at a pass rate of 85% or better to be able to um, consider that lesson to be passed. Now the tab you're going to be super interested in is this tab right here, Completed Work. When you select the Completed Work tab, it's going to share with you the actual lessons that your child has been working on in a reverse order. So this is the most recent lesson, and it goes down. So, whoopsie. <laughs> so you can see a lot of things here. You can see the date that the lesson was completed, the name and the skill of the actual lesson, and the passing percentage that your child received on this lesson. So this is a way for you to monitor really closely some of the work that's actually been happening, particularly on any given day or time or for a type of lesson. Now, as I mentioned before, iReady considers 85% the pass rate. So we see here that this um, child only got 63% on this lesson add or subtract 10 or 100, and this is a numbers and operations math lesson. So iReady gives the same exact lesson again immediately to the child in their next lesson session. So here we see the second time worked out much better for this child and they got 100% on this lesson. We want to encourage children to really do their best every lesson because it makes sense to show actually what you know, and if you know how to do that, then you're going to want to demonstrate that right now. Now, some of you are probably wondering about this 83% because the 85 is an accommodation of the different lessons. I believe that 80% um, might have them passing on the individual lesson as opposed to the overall combined score. So we're still looking for something as close to 100% as we can because the point is to learn everything as well as possible. One of the common questions that we get from parents is, I don't understand why I'm not seeing my child's time on task matching the time that I know that they were on the iReady website. Well, that's because perhaps your child was on the iReady website but they were not actually doing lessons. The time on task is for lessons. There are other things that they may be doing on iReady. So for instance, here we see learning games, and this is something that kids might be doing instead of doing a lesson. They're still great things to do, but they're not gonna count toward their lesson goals. So the learning games, there's a lot of different kind of games and activities, um, and sometimes they earn special things because 
of how well they're doing on their actual lessons. So once again, we're going to want to look at their time on task for their actual lessons. We're going to want to look here in the completed work to see what work they've actually done. And beware, because we also have this little tab here called My Stuff. And sorry, I'm having a hard time getting that to show for you. There you go. My Stuff. And this is where they can change their avatar and their background. Um, and things like that. So there's a couple things that they could be doing instead of actual lessons, but by checking through their progress, you will be able to see how they're actually doing on individual lessons and on their time on task. I hope this helps you to navigate iReady to support your child. Thank you for watching Learn With Me.